A word spoke into the dark. A whisper deeper than the deep and faster than the void. It filled the great emptiness. Yahweh had spoken and his breath brought with it light and life. The world awoke and history began. His creation knew his love and his blessing. The breath of the word filled their lungs and yet that first pair turned away and disobeyed. They turned from life from love, from God. Sorrow and sin had entered the world, yet in that darkness, God did not abandon his children. He spoke to them, he led them. Abraham heard his words, as did his descendants. Jacob wrestled with him, David sang to him, and Solomon built him his temple. The same word that was at the beginning spoke to them through their priests, prophets, and kings. A plan foretold in the prophecies of old of one who would take away the sins of the world and provide a way back to the Father's heart, bringing peace and the promise of eternal life. And the word revealed to them a singular way of reconciliation through the greatest sacrifice of love. But what lamb of sacrifice might ever cover their stain of rebellion? And God spoke to them of one who would come, one who would be pure so they might live, wounded that they may be healed, and sacrificed that they might be wholly redeemed. And so they waited, knowing their own efforts and sacrifice could never fully cleanse them of their sin. Still they watched and hoped, longing for the day of his coming, longing for the promise of the one who would save them. Until a star shone clear in the night sky, heralding the dawn of God's promised salvation, the time had finally come for the world to witness the birth of the perfect lamb who would wash his people clean. Redemption now stood at their very door, the promised one about to be revealed, the conquering king come to set his people free. But there were no trumpets, no earthly fanfare to welcome him. In the silence of the most sacred night, before the manger, before the cross, before the empty tomb, the depths of God's love was revealed and heaven held its breath, listening, waiting for their king to shine in the dark.